To make that announcement, President of Baseball Operations, John Mulzalock. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, and uh, thank you guys for coming. If we had thought we were going to do this yesterday, it might have been a problem. So uh, it's, it's great to be here. You know, it's an exciting day for, for the Cardinals. Um, you know, as I, I think about our time and the success that we've had using the Asian markets to improve our club, I think you all know and understand that we've had a lot of success bringing players over. And... KK, Jersey will say Kim, but he likes to go by KK, and he's someone that uh, had a lot of desire to come and play here in the States, and he had a lot of success over in Korea. You obviously will note that he was a 2008 Olympic champion. He was uh, a four-time KBO champion uh, playing for SK Wyverns. Why did we have interest in him? What made this want to do this? We had robust scouting reports on him. We had a lot of analytical support that backed up the success he was having over in the KBO. And we felt that when you looked at our needs, especially when you think about the left side of, of our pitching, it made a lot of sense to pursue this. And over the past couple weeks, as we were exploring the trade market, the free agent market, it brought us back to, uh, to, to KK. And uh, we're really excited that we were able to get this done. I think I should uh, give a special thanks to um, Mike Gersh, Matt Slater, and of course, John Boggs, and then his Korean representative, who is also going to work as our translator today, Mr. Kim. Real quickly, I think uh, you can all look at, at the release and understand the history, but I will say first impressions of getting to know him and, and being able to speak with him, he's a very impressive person. And, um, you know, I, I think he got some feedback from Mr. O on the Cardinals and, and what St. Louis was about. And I think he has a lot of appreciation for the history of this team and really the quality of this team going into 2020. And I think that became very attractive for him. So, you know, we're very excited to, to introduce Kim today. And uh, at this point, I'd like to uh, present him with his hat and jersey, and then we will definitely open it up to questions. Thank you. Oh, you want to on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My bad. So at this point, open it up. Would you like to have an opening statement? Okay. Mr. Kim? Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we're very, very big honor to join uh, one of St. Louis Cardinal player. He's very happy with uh, being here. And uh, today he look around all this stadium area. He told me um, every single step, whenever he walking every single step, he feel a big history. His big history team, he feel a uh, big honor to join uh, being a dismember, St. Louis Cardinals player. That's it. How does he, how do you feel your stuff will play in Major League Baseball? 지금 
메이저리그 베이스볼에 지금 지금 갖고 있는 기술로 이제 조인하게 됐는데 어떻게 생각하세요? 어떻게 그 선수가 확보되는지? 어 무척 기대되고 떨리고 어 이제 2020년 시즌이 정말 어, 저에게 있어서 정말 중요한 시즌이 될것 같고 음. 어, 설렘 설렌다 음. 설렌다고 얘기하고 음. 싶어요. He's very excited, very very excited to play uh, a St. Louis Cardinals member. Excited to play in Major League, and he 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 feel a little nervous now, but he want to be a good player in this league. Do you prefer to be a starting pitcher or a relief pitcher? Hmm. Start start somebody else, Mika. I mean more. 좀 선발 투수 하는 게 일단 최고 좋은 시나리오지만 음. 어, 팀에서 어, 필요한 위치에 어, 팀에 필요한 선수가 되는 게 일단 첫 번째이기 때문에 어, 팀 팀에서 음. 정해주는 역할 충실히 다하도록 노력하겠습니다. 음, that's a good question. And uh, uh, he he really w a n t to be a starting pitcher, but he respect the St. Louis Cardinals system and. The, He going to compete with this spring training. He respect their decision. So, so anyway, he gonna do his best, be a starting pitcher. But he respect their opinion, their their decision. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. What, what were the main reasons why he signed with the Cardinals rather than some other team? 다른 팀도 많은데 왜 Saint Louis Cardinals와 사인하게 됐는지. 어 일단 어렸을 때부터 야구를 잘 몰랐던 사람들도 다 음. 세인트리스 카디널스는 다 음. 아는 정도의 명문 음. 팀이고 음. 어, 내셔널리그 최고의 명문 팀이어서 음. 어, 선택하게 됐고 어, 이, 이 팀에 어, 진짜 뛰게 돼서 정말 음. 영광으로 생각하고 음. 있습니다. It's a uh, that there is a lot of Korean a lot of Korean baseball fan is a Saint, they they like Saint Louis Cardinals because of they are very Uh, best team in national league. That's why when he was a young boy, when he was a start baseball, he, someday he wanna be a someday he wanna be a Saint Louis Cardinals member. So in in this case, when he got the offer from many team, some team, and he make decision, he really wanna play in Saint Louis. That's why he signed. That's it. Mo mentioned that Sung Wan Oh had spoken to him about what it was like to play here and, and what that was like. Can he speak to what that was like and the advice you got from Mr. Oh as well? Sung Wan Young, he went to Toronto. Other teams, some, 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 s o m 어이 팀이 제일 굿 팀이었다고 음, 얘기했었고요. 음. 그리고 저도 뭐 승환이 형한테 어, 이 팀의 룰이라든지 이런 것을 더 다시 한번 음. 물어볼 생각입니다. 음. So s u n g h w a n o h uh, a d v i c e to him, he been uh, three team in in major league. He he liked the most over here. So he recommend he recommend uh, he introduce uh, Saint Louis Cardinals. So he going to ask him, ask him again when he back to Korea. He going to ask him and meet him again. He going to ask about the uh, San Luis Cardinals more detail later. In seeing the success that Junjin Ryu has had in the major leagues, does that give you confidence that your stuff also can translate to success here? And how would you compare sort of your um, stuff, your you know repertoire to his? 용기를 얻었고 이런 게 있는지 연진에 대해서 좀 거, 거기에 대해서 음. 얘기를 좀 해달라고 일단 음, 한국인 투수로서 음. 일단 박찬호 선배 그 다음에 유현진 음. 음. 선배를 보면서 항상 음. 꿈을 키워왔고 음, 음. 어, 나도 거기에 마운드에 같이 쓸수 수 있다는 것 음. 자체가 영광이고 음. 이렇게 도전할 수 있게 돼서 정말 어, 음. 뜻깊고 음. 음. 나도 그렇게 할수 있을 음. 거라고 생각합니다. Yeah, so he he sub he he makes success baseball life in here. Liu Hyunjin makes make uh, makes success baseball life in here. That's why he he feel and then 
he got confidence, some confidence to work over here, and then he gonna do a. He believe, he strongly believe to make success in this league. See, oh, what uh, is there a pitcher that we see a lot that your, your scouts can compare him to to give people an idea of how he throws? Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a, a comparable player I would 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 use in this example, but the the part that was so attractive to us was the fact that. When you look at our rotation going into the season, there's certainly some question marks. And we, we felt like having somebody, especially from the left side, that could start had a lot of value to us. And, and so I think the most important thing is, in KK's case, he can be in either role. But right now, he's going to come to camp, he's going to get stretched out, and he's going to get every opportunity to be used as a starter. So you have six starters in theory, County and Martinez, depending on how Correct. I mean, you could argue we have 11, well, yeah. right? But the point being is you're bringing someone like KK into this equation because he does give you a lot of protection on, on either end. Can you describe his stuff? Yeah, obviously he throws a, a plus fastball, slider, complementary pitches. You know, when you look at, at how he's used, um, there are some videos, I think, posted that you can see, but has really a, a swing and miss type slider. And, and so taking advantage of that with the plus fastball is, is just a great combination. And so working with our staff, Mad Dog and others, we feel that he can have a lot of success over here. One of the things that stands out, at least looking at the numbers, is the really low walk rate, especially that's improved over the last couple of years. That was also a thing that Miles had when he came from the Japanese league. Is that an indication for you all that maybe a pitcher stuff will translate well when he has that consistently low walk rate in other leagues? To hear? Well, I, I think a couple things. One is obviously a, a good low walk rate is important. High strikeout rate helps. Um, good ground ball rate is also something that, that can be telling. So the combination of what he was doing the last few years, obviously we felt confident that coming over here he could have success. I mean, clearly time will tell, right? But um, you look at the success he had over there, historically that seems to play here. Do you have to reassure him the weather isn't always like this here? <laughs> <laughs> I did ask these guys uh, what, what uh, the weather was like in Seoul. He said comparable, but maybe not as much snow. now on the starting pitching side, like you said, if everybody stays healthy, there's potentially six guys there. So just on the starting pitching side, you can take your time. I do think from an inning standpoint, we're covered now. Um, you know, clearly not everybody's going to make that rotation. So that means someone's going to go in the bullpen. So that should strengthen that as well. But, um, you know, I think that's why you have camp and, and you work your way through spring training to see. But, you know, being able to address this need and do it in this way, I think, was something that, you know, maybe a couple months ago we didn't see coming, and, and so we're we're very pleased to where it ended. And did, did the prices that you were seeing on other starting pitchers sort of accelerate interest in Mr. Kim? Would you say? You know, I think obviously there's some pitchers out there that if they they had no interest in us if they weren't the starter, right? So there was there's a little bit of that that plays into this, whereas. We have a little bit more flexibility here, and, and the fact that um, he understands that it's not a guarantee but appreciates the opportunity was very helpful. Was this your first trip to St. Louis, and what are you most excited about and from moving from Korea to here and spending the, the year here playing baseball and living here? Sorry, was this his first trip to St. Louis? And then what is, what is he most excited about to move to the United States and to play baseball to be here for that? What part of that is he most excited about? Um, Mm. At first, it's uh, the city is not huge, but he feel very comfortable, and uh, but but stadium is very grateful and great. He feel great and then bigger than his bigger than his expect. He watching he watching internet and then some kind of picture, but more bigger than his expect. So he got very strong, strong message to St. Louis. 
<laughs> uh, he he oh. made on his own. Well, who had eyes on him for you guys in Korea? Who's seen him in person? Uh, we had uh, obviously multiple scouts see him, but. Uh, Matt Slater, who oversees our, our Asian responsibilities, was really the one that was the driving force here. And, you know, as you look at, at our coverage, and, and I think many years ago we talked about, you know, trying to ramp that up more and, and be more aggressive, it's nice to see that we're seeing some returns from, from those markets. Anyone else? Can you describe your slider? and how you, how you learn it, how you use it, what different ways you can use it? What you can use it? What kind of slider is there? The slider is used when I used it 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 when I used it. All his life, his outpitch is slider. Slider is he got a very big confidence. So he got to make it strike slider and speed, up speed slider as well. Fast slider and slow slider. So he got big confidence with his slider. Is it okay? As far as when you guys had kind of interest in him and, and what was the was the deal kind of aggressively pursued in the last couple of days, or would you say it was stretched out a little bit? Um, I would say that that interest was since the summer. We didn't know if he was going to post for sure, um, but once he posted, uh, Matt and his crew were very aggressive on on making sure that his name was in front of us. And 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 from a decision standpoint, when we were out in San Diego, we had the opportunity. Um, to, to meet face to face with Mr. Boggs and, and Mr. Kim, and that 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 helped create some momentum in the deal, and then ultimately we were able to complete it over the weekend. Well, um, we could be a little awkward doing some one on ones, but I uh, sh trust you'll figure it out. But thank you guys and uh, happy holidays. Oh yes. One more thing. Yep. Yeah. He has to if thank people finish, he want to say <laughs> last one. Is it okay? Yes, yes, please. Mouth? Yeah. 여기까지 오는데 어, 제 한국에 있던 소속 팀이 허락이 없었다면 여기까지 올 수도 없었고 그리고 저를 이렇게 환영해 주고 어, 계약해 주신 세인트 루이스 관계자 여러분한테 감사드리고 그리고 이렇게 앞에 취재하러 와 주신 기자 분들까지도 환영해 주셔서 감사합니다. 이 뭐죠? It was until over here, it was a long and winding road. He, he was so hard, and especially, thank, thanks Mo, and thank you, Matt Slater, and thank you, John, and, and uh, come to press today. So very happy to come to you know, celebrate. Thank you very much about that. And then it was very hard to come over here. Hmm. Mm. They were uh, thankful his uh, uh, original team, SK. Sure, Lift it, this one? Uh, yeah, uh, SK, one. Yeah. Thank you, SK. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. 12 years. It's a long yeah. time. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank you Happy very holidays. Much.